Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is a great honour to be here. When we started Celebio in 2011, I never would have imagined that I would be in front of you today. But here we are. I would like to tell you a little bit about Celebio and wonderful professional mental health training for 250 group psychologists tomorrow. But before I do so, I want to ask to reflect a little bit on the economic crisis and its impact on our people's hope and mental health. All of us here would agree that these are difficult and stressful times. There is no doubt that this economic crisis has not only been a financial one, but also a social one. From 60% youth unemployment to retirees seeing their pensions cut, the national rate for depression has gone from 3.2% in 2008 to 8.2% in 2011. And we can only imagine where it is today, eight years on. We also know that there has been a 35% jump in the suicide rate. You will be sad to know that these upward trends in depression and suicide rates are not isolated degrees. In fact, the World Health Organization two weeks ago came out with a statement that poor mental health is now the leading cause of workplace disability and that it is costing the global economy $1 trillion per annum. So why is it that with increasing rates of mental illness that so many still pass off mental health as something we can just overcome or control? or even ignore? Well, maybe we can't see it yet and don't yet understand it. The brain is the most complex organ in the known universe. Not only is it made up of billions of cells called neurons, but every neuron can connect to an estimated thousand or tens of thousands of other neurons simultaneously. We look at the night sky and see millions of stars. Each star has its own planets and moons rotating around them. That same complexity can be found in each and every one of your brains. In my work as a psychotherapist, I began to notice that my patients whose mothers had been healthier were healthier as well today. The simple truth is that mothers are still the heartbeat of the family. Did you know that the second leading cause of death in women who have just given birth is suicide. We know that in order to help women and families, we need to be able to ask the right questions about how a mother is feeling, and then know how to help when she answers that she's not doing well. Our second dimension of care is offering an extensive online presence that provides evidence-based, reasoned, and practical wisdom on a variety of subjects. In short, we supplant old wives' tales with modern science and empathy that is universally and globally accessible.